It's been so long. Finally, the dawning of salvation is upon us. The path will soon open. I wasn't expecting to see them again. That's enough! Lyria's coming back with us! Is that so? Id? You're all talk! What happened to that stuff about protecting Lyria? <sighs> you know what to do. can destroy on remind you Actually down? Let's just get to Lyria.
such a careless one. Get ready. <laughs> the primal beast who distorts space itself. I can't believe it overpowered Roland so easily. This fight's going to get desperate. Save it. You sky dwellers are autumn leaves, and I am the winter of your discontent. My coming is your death. Even Astraeus was no match for me. I could likely blow you over with a single breath. Things are bound to get serious. Okay. Be careful, Catalina. Uh, I'm not much of a fight. If I notice anything suspicious, I'll tell them. Quaint thought. I'm a 
afraid your little crew is all out of options. Now, join your lost friends on the other side. Should I see you in the next life? It will be too soon. I can't fight it off. I don't have that kind of power. The Sky Realm and all of its inhabitants stand insignificant before Angra, mind you. Compared to eking out a meaningless existence, doesn't eternal rest sound far more appealing? No one gives a crap about your evil plan! Just give our friends that! You hear me? What a great little worm! We're gonna make you pay! There's no way you'll get away with this! No! Not that! Now, dear Captain, you deserve to be rewarded above all others for bringing the shot to my doorstep. Bear witness as your entire world crumbles. these skies. Let me whisk you away on a journey aboard the Ark of Angra Mainyu. <laughs> other half. <laughs> Id, explain yourself. Mother, you told me to protect Lyria. But this... Why this? This isn't what you said! Why did Lyria... Calm yourself, Id. Angra Mainyu has been revived. Thus, the shaman's role is complete. Consequently, your duty as her guardian is no longer needed. But Mother, please! Temper, Id. It almost sounds as if you disagree with me. My naughty child, you're no better than these interlopers. Forget about me! Focus on your link! <laughs> Adversity only seems to push you towards victory. After all, you must be confident you can prance out of here as the hero. 
Don't be. Humdrum tales of heroism and gallantry have no place on my shelf. Let us finish this charade! Blade, the thorns of Eos. How lovely of Astraeus to leave you a parting gift. Yeah! You cannot possibly mean to use it against Angra, yeah! mind you. Yeah! <laughs> and the mere sky dwellers do not have the magical reserve to wield it.
Primeval Dragon. Child of darkness and flames. Thy name is... Here's the Captain and Lyria restored everything back to normal. Way to go, Captain! Man, it's hard keeping up with you young bucks. Always stealing the thunder. <laughs> well done, Captain. Where's Vern? Hey! Never doubted you for a second. I totally knew you kick butt. I think we can safely say, all's well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize to everybody. Even though I couldn't control myself, I could still see everything that was happening. All the scary stuff I did, I was powerless to stop it. I wasn't sure if it was a dream. That wasn't you, Lyria. You all still came to save me. After what I did to everyone. To Catalina. And especially to you. It's okay now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Dry your tears, Lyria. 
You're back with us now. There's nothing to fear. repeat itself now I understand you're all influenced by the singularity but fate set in motion can't be stopped you will come to understand the depths of my unflinching resolve the astral realm awaits the fruits of my research I won't be denied Esther Lucia! Stop. If you open the gate to the Astral Realm, this world will be destroyed. Angra was sealed for a reason. Does that mean nothing to you? Let me ask you this instead. Why do you care so much about these skies? They're so full of heartache and despair. Worries that shall be long eclipsed by the providence of a new order. You're blind, Lilith. Blind to their kinship. Blind to their hopes and dreams. There are things in this world that be more than power or... Fix it, dude! No, Astraeus. All that is obvious to me is that we don't see eye to eye. And you're as guilty of the same sins as the rest of these fools. <laughs> Hear my voice. Deliver us from grief and sacrifice. Fulfill my salvation. <laughs> Seems so. Everybody, run!
Look! What is that? I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. The end? Hurry! Go lace up with daggers, crew. Yes, sir. How's the second district holding up? Tell Zothba about Roland. We finally got Lyria back, but this doesn't bode well. Hey, it's Mr. Shane! Well, what do we have here? Oh, and you folks got your friend back. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Lyria. I'm Zothba, an information broker. Must have been tough out there, huh, little lady? Um, yes. It was. Zothba, do not frighten the poor child. Huh? Who's being scary? I'm on my best behavior here. <laughs> it pleases me to see that everyone is in good health. I came to lend my support the moment I caught wind of Avia's assault on Seed Hollow. Speaking of allies... I don't see Roland with you. Where'd he go? He's been captured. Ah, oh, crap. Well, look. Don't get too down. He's not one to croak without a fight. Maybe we can do something for him, though. <laughs> you in, Histy? Most certainly. I am off to make arrangements at once. All right. Call it intuition, or an overactive gut, but an epic storm's brewing in this here skydom. Don't know how to explain it, but the air's buzzing with emotions. Stuff like joy, anxiety, sadness, anger. You can tell when it's coming to a head. I haven't felt this spooked since the Dolly Island disaster 15 years ago. My point is, you folks ought to haul it back to your own Skydom. What? You can't say that at a time like this! Look, my sources tell me you hail from Fanta Grande. You've got a fine ship that can cross the Grim Basin. No need to play hero here. It's not like that. We can't just leave everyone when we know what's coming. Lilith is going to use something called the Pillar of Vayuai to destroy the sky. Do we just let her do it? And what about Roland? Let me be the voice of reason here. You saved your princess. Mission accomplished. So what do knights do after rescuing the damsel? They make sure she stays safe. You're an excellent captain, and so I don't need to spell out your next move for you, do I? We're gonna save Roland. I'm glad you're looking out for the man. But did you hear a single word I said? Come on. All I'm saying is don't push your luck. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? We both know I can't talk you out of this. But Zega Grande is our home. At least let us keep our pride. Be seeing you around then. And quit with the long faces. We can handle this. Zothba told us we should get out of Zega Grande, but... Roland made it abundantly clear that Angramainu is more than Zega Grande's problem. That power can and will consume the skies. Exactly. Um, so what I wanted to say was... We got you, Lyria. Just take a look at my bud. Is that the face of somebody fixing to run away? Oh, no it isn't. <laughs> ah, welcome back. The Grand Cypher's good to go. Are you ready to leave? Let's fly. The air currents have become unstable. 
Keep your wits about you. So, are we really doing this? What's the plan? We're going to rescue Roland. <laughs> right on! Mission numero uno! He's the reason we were able to save Lyria. Now it's our turn to repay the favor. And I gotta thank him for taking such good care of the Grand Cipher. I'm with you there. But this ain't gonna be a walk in the park, you know? <laughs> Bring it on. There's no turning back anyway. Hang tight, fix it, dude. We're a coming for ya. Let's give it everything we've got. A more fearless crew there never was. <laughs> Let us wish them well. They're the perfect folks to defy primeval gods. I'm kind of glad it's them and not me. And so our debt to them grows heavier once more. Well, enough yammering. We got our own work to do. Hey, this is Roland's. Must have dropped it during all that hubbub at the castle. Be sure you return it to him whenever he gets back, eh? Wind's running wild today, but it's nothing the Grand Cypher can't handle. We finally have Lyria back, but there's not even time to celebrate. Lilith is so close to her goal. She's become blind to everything else. I doubt there's anything that can stop her now, except us. It might sound melodramatic, but this is fate. Our crew versus Lilith. So there's only one thing left to do. Fly to the Pillar of Vioi and end this. The sky's a shocking shade of despair. Guess we got Lilith and Angra Mainyu to thank for that. That pillar scares me more. Lilith called it the bridge to the Astral Realm, right? Only Angra Mainyu can open the gate. That pillar must be like an altar for the rites. Look at the very top! It's the light the gate came from! We have to go investigate! Stupid Lilith! Going around, building creepy pillars in our sky? She's gonna pay for this! What hole did this weirdo crawl out of? Part of Angra mind you. Okay, so it's creepy and hostile. At least it'll be a good warm up before the final match. Reinforcements! Are those little ones also part of Angra mind you? Whoa! We did go through that rift, right? It looks like we're still in the same place, but everything's all hazy. Look, the monster from before. Is it just me, or does it appear solid now? I bet it's because we went through that funky portal. I knew it was a good idea. Panacea! Sorry to trouble you. Rain! Uh, refreshing, uh, isn't it? No, it's yeah. 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 Not so tough now, are ya? I don't think we'll make it very far in this haze. Let's pass through the rift again and return to the normal world. Well, now that those spooky portal monsters are gone, what say we get a move on? I can't believe they were residing in a different dimension. It must have something to do with Angra Mainyu's powers as gatekeeper. I'm as shaken as you are, but at least we have a strategy now. Ah, how many spare parts does Angra Mainyu have? You all know the drill now. Wait for the mini Mainyus to pop up, then blast them. Heads up, crew. We got spooky company. Calm down, Rackham. They seem like normal monsters. They must have been summoned here by Angra Mainyu. 
People just disintegrated. Yes. It must have been the light spilling from the rift. I believe we've just found our key to victory. Come, Crystal. I hope we never have to do that again. Key, shadow portal, shadow people. What's next? Wait, I think I sense a primal beast. Or at least something that feels like a primal beast. And this presence isn't Angra Mine you? No. Lyria, we're hopping between dimensions at the drop of a hat. comes first. Talk later. I don't trust your hero act. After Furikin's dusted, I'm gonna make you spill your evil master plan. <laughs>
Is anyone hurt? I feel like a million rupees. But, uh, what are we gonna do about him? Don't you? After all the time I spent with you, I know how much you care for her. But even if you love her, after what she's done, we have to stop her. My mother. Or Lilith, I should say. Intends to sacrifice the future of this world. I know I can't let her get away with that. But I can no longer feign innocence. This has gone on long enough. Wanna come with us then? Considering the scale of violence I inflicted on your crew. Well, in the end, you did help us. <laughs> a past enemy is a future friend. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll join you in the fight against Lilith. Stop her. <laughs> hey, Id. Lilith's your mom, right? Adoptive. We're not related by blood, but I owe her my life. If you want to turn back, no one will blame you. I've made my choice. You might say that now, but when she's right there in front of you, it's gonna be tough. I'd rather face her myself or suffer at someone else's hands. As family, you must feel responsible for her crimes. Very well. We'll respect your wishes. Something I wanted to ask you about. Last time we crossed swords, you transformed. Oh, yeah. What was that? If you ask me, I thought you looked like a giant lizard. Well, you're wrong. That was a manifestation of the dragon power sleeping within me. Lilith trained me when I was young taught me how to control them. I thought I'd be saving the world Maybe we could use You will be, kid. That's the whole reason you joined us on this crazy mission, right? Um, Ed? What is it? I wanted to thank you. Let's see. For protecting you while I was imprisoned by the Church of Avia. You're thanking me? I was the one who captured you. Yes, that's true. But you also helped bring me back to my friends. If you'd left me with Lilith, who knows what would have happened to me? Yeah. I guess. It! Those monsters have a battle and power to undermine you. Defeat the small ones first! Understood. You're not! I'm not! Come, Crimson Thor! Counterfeit primal. It never truly existed at all. Correct? Yes. I think it's because time and space is so unstable here. 
Reality is getting all mixed up. But who ever heard of a shadow with the destructive force of a primal? Bayoi truly is fearsome. Catch my breath. Wait, you're gonna sleep here? We owe you, Alonzo. 
It, I've always wondered. When you were part of the church, why did you go to such lengths to protect Lyria? I was only following orders. At least at first. Lyria was the key to bringing salvation. But then you learned all Lilith wanted to save was herself. Lyria was no more than a means to an end. Once she had made Lyria absorb enough primus, Don't mind Lilith you. meant to free Angra Mainu and what sacrifice all who opposed her. I gave myself oh, great. mother's cause. I trained uh -huh. and trained to protect her vision of salvation. When I learned it was all a lie, my life was devoid of meaning. There was nothing I wanted to fight for anymore, except Lyria. Now I'm protecting her because it's the first thing my heart's ever told me to do. The silence is unnatural. <laughs> A look at that. Who knows what'll happen if we touch it? I sense something. It's the primal beast from Fondom. Please tell me that's a bad joke. We don't have any real estate to fight on. No! We've reached a dead end! By the way, uh huh? Aren't you? But I suppose etiquette can wait. First, a dance. Appreciate your help, but I've had my fill of blood must be part of it. I never thought. Would you kindly refrain from comparing me to General Galanza? I am here as a matter of pride. If word got out that the banquet is of my dear fellow was delegated in a bar, I hear the end of it. I wasn't in a position to admire your swordplay before. Let me say now. Your skill with magic blades is unparalleled. That's quite flattering, especially because you've only seen the opening act. The sword then allied itself with Avia to bring salvation to the sky. Now at last we can rise to the occasion. Hey, Maggie. Oh my! It's been a while since you've called me by that name. Have you by any chance grown soft? I could have just been sick. <laughs> Oh, 
Mistake, Skyfarers. This was merely a matter of honor. Do not disgrace yourselves by thanking me. And so, I bid you adieu. Whew, I can't believe we're still breathing. Magliel hadn't come. We'd probably be s'mores by now. It's too soon to celebrate. Come on. The ceiling's gotten higher. Should mean we're almost at the top. The more I see that sky, the more I hate it. Yeah, Luba's got some messed up taste. It should be the last battle. Make sure you're prepared. Is that the gate to the Astral Realm? It looks even scarier up close. Strange, isn't it? Gateways are usually a symbol of hope and new opportunity. Not this one. Like Roland said, if that door opens, then the skies will fall. We won't let it open. Yep, we'll beat Lilith, grab Roland, then skedaddle out of here. Sounds like a plan. Had you only seen things my way, this pitiful fate could have been avoided. Why must you insist on quarreling with your own brethren? It's unfathomable, truly. Ah, shaman. Impeccable timing as always, I see. Can you feel the grip of imminent salvation? I invite you and your other half to watch. <laughs> and it is this betrayal. <laughs> hmm. Where did I go wrong? You can't sacrifice our skies to open that gate. We won't let you do it. Help yourself? Just how selfish can you be? Hmm. Huh. 
once I reach Estelusia, I shall guide this world to Utopia. Why would anyone reject my heartfelt invitation? Ah, <sighs> how I pity you poor misguided creatures. Yeah, like we give a crap about anything you say. <laughs> Your messed up Utopia is built on sacrifice. No way we're letting that fly. Options fail me. I can no longer sway your hearts or minds. As a parting gift, may you all find solace in death's warm embrace. It. Please, don't disappoint me any further. You can still redeem yourself. Eradicate these nuisances. You come back to me. Please listen to me. I think you've lost sight of the big picture. What's the use of guidance when compared to all of eternity? Celebrations, but we're not done yet. For a fraction of my soul, I'll buy all your death. Her power's flowing into Angra Mainyu. She's attempting a fusion. Is she that desperate to live on, even if it means she'll stop being an astral? Keeper, Angra mind you. I beseech you, bequeath your power unto me. Take this vessel. I am yours. Something terrible is coming. Submitted, it would 
couldn't have come to this. With Angra, mind you? Yeah, but at least your back fixed it, dude. Glad we got you out in one piece. You really <laughs> went to extraordinary length to save me. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, there's much more I want to say. But it will have to wait. Angra, mind you, has grown too powerful. I understand. Why are you so invested in our skies? There's so many of them! Don't let the pressure get to you. Just focus on beating them one at a time. No, no. Never enough! Damn. They just keep coming. How are we supposed to get to Angra Mighty now? No. I think Can I can buy us some time. I need everyone to gather around. I love it when other people make a plan. Fight your way to rolling, everyone. This affair we have here. Let's call it down before it gets more out of hand. Sky. It's time for us to join as one. The world rests in our hands. What fun is a death match if my opponents are already dead? This is the moment of truth. Do not falter! Whatsoever you decide, we will follow your lead. Each shot costs us a mill. Okay, so what? Those folks are betting their lives out there. Just shut your yaps and keep firing! Everyone's here! Our bonds are stronger than ever. We shall prevail! Let's show her what's up, Captain. Us Sky Dwellers are taking a stand. Yeah! You foolish heretics! Pay for your sins! No sweat, right? We're all here for you. Let's win this! Together! Alright, 
We hold nothing back. Yes. Enough of this madness. <laughs> Anything for you, Captain. Guys, what's happening on us? The undying light of fire. This is where our research should have led. To the strength Skywell is derived from love. Love of home, friends, and of family. Somewhere along the way, you turned around. You found a window to the darker emotions of the mortal mind. You prayed for fear and desperation. Making empty promises. Aggrandizing yourself until the people worshipped you as a god. You took advantage of their faith and raised armies that overran the Sega Grande Skydome. Think back on all the violence you've incited. Does that really look like a path to utopia? Your megalomania is a threat. No matter where you are, I will never let you return to Absolutia! Keep it up! Right again. That's hubris speaking. No one person can determine right or wrong. sacrificing this world and its people. It's not too late. It. I'll accept my fate. So please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't been truthful with you from the start.
wings of darkness. Spill forth from thy vessel, and awaken. Claim thy divine right. The sky is once more yours to sunder and renew. Primeval dragon, child of darkness and flames! <laughs> It's okay. Let me be the one to save you. Huh? Perhaps I acted in haste. So swiftly you sensed the dimensional distortion. Oh, meddlesome wings. You who defy the stars. You will sleep within this child, until I have further need of you. <laughs> Come, the stars await. And we mustn't keep them. The true beginning stirs. Id had become a dragon and vanished into the somber skies. His roar, which echoed like a distant peal of thunder, electrified me with sadness. <sighs> Can't believe it. I thought if we beat Angra Mainyu, we'd be free to go on our merry way. No, 
kidding. Why did it have to go off and become Bahamut? Right. In which case... Hey, what are you thinking about, Rowan? It's like you've got all your gears whirring. It's starting to come together now. Especially if she used a mind sealer on him. The mind sealer is what they used to rob Lyria of her free will. What does it have to do with Bahamut? Everything. Lilith and Bahamut, destruction and rebirth. Everything is linked. How about giving us the gist? Essentially, it comes down to why Lilith failed to wake Angra Mainyu 15 years ago. I heard the Sky Realm's Bahamut appeared after sensing an overwhelming astral presence. Perhaps that was more than rumor. You call that the gist? I'm even more confused. <sighs> Sorry. Fifteen years ago, Lilith summoned Angra Mainyu. At the same time, Bahamut manifested to face her. But this was not the same Bahamut you all know. Let us call it Bahamut Versa. It sensed the unfathomable power of Angra Mainyu and consumed it. Stopping Lilith in her tracks. But now... Perhaps, to remove Bahamut from the picture, Lilith trapped the Primal inside Id, using the Mind Sealer. Okay, but that doesn't explain why she suddenly freed Versa. Does she want to wreck the skies, or what? She once told Id that she would destroy the world to bring about its rebirth. Versa is more than capable of forcing reincarnation upon the Sky Realm. In any case, we know one thing for sure. If we leave Versa to its own devices, it will be the end of all life as we know it. You gotta be kidding! How are we gonna defeat a World Crusher? And what's gonna happen to Id? You aren't asking us to kill him, are you? Not gonna happen. Thank you. He doesn't deserve death. Huh. Still got a debt to settle with that punk. Can't let him off so easily. How do you know Id's still in there? Even Bahamut's got nothing on Id. Exactly. Guy with a stick that far up his butt? Even an apocalyptic dragon couldn't push him down. Even if we can't get through to him, he'll survive a beating. He trounced us, right? <sighs> I've been around for a long time, but you Sky Dwellers never cease to surprise me. I never would have dreamed that a single crew could save Tempeel, or pacify Excavalion, or defeat Angra Mainyu. But, you've taught me that it's not longevity or physical strength that's important. It's the power of your heart. You have my complete faith. I believe that nothing in all the world will keep you from saving your friend. It's settled. We smack Versa like a piñata till it coughs up in. Yeah! All right. Let's go. This world is precious. I mean, even the God of Destruction can't bear to lose it. Our bodies might be mortal, but our hearts are infinite. Though he's in a dark place right now, I hope Id doesn't lose sight of that. But even if he does, I'll open his eyes again. I, this crew, will never abandon someone we care about. The sunrise spills over the Grand Cypher as we rush on the winds, chasing the sorrowful cries of a faraway dragon.
me help you. Me too. Thanks for the support. I won't waste it! The spell is perfect! And yet... It seems the binding is only half effective. <laughs> Captain, the rest is up to you. You must save it. Intervene with this process may have far reaching consequences. I want to believe in the limitless potential of Sky Dwellers. I want to believe you can rewrite even the laws of reality. It's hurting really bad. We haven't known each other for too long, but I can feel it. We wouldn't want things to end like that. We just have to save him. Right, I Let's won't lose focus. Right. Huh? Who cares if you're stuck inside Bahamut? I'll flush you out myself if I have to! That was great! You were betrayed by the woman who raised you. Made into a dragon's vessel for 15 years. And yet you, a mere mortal, survived. If I should fail to rescue you, I don't think I shall ever forgive myself for the rest of my long, long life. In the past, I had nearly existed. It wasn't until you Sky Dwellers let me into your hearts that I learned it was to live. Unlike immortals, you are capable of change and growth. All I want is to be a part of that. To help you build a glowing future. As an astral, I am also to blame for the failures of my people. And I swear to you now, I will set things right again! I don't like to admit it, the gods are a little beyond our skill level. We need more firepower! I think you mean dragon power. Lyrian, do you feel up to summoning Bahamut? Okay, just give me some time. That is the light of the apocalypse. The fire of doomsday. Its power is transcendent. If the attack lands, all the skies will be obliterated. Right behind. 
behind you. I'll protect you from the Bring it! Absolute zero! Time goes, we'll do it again. Tempest play! Understood! Yes, yes. Go now! Rest in peace! You! I'm on it! Bring it! Get him first! What do you think? Fire it again! Decimate! There! Come on! You hold the charge! It's already stored up considerable energy! We've tried to fry her today, damn it! Everyone, gather around! Get to Lyria, now! I'll keep you all safe, I promise! Oh, Versus destructive urges. But it seems his body and soul are still in one piece. And that means there's still hope. If you can sever the spiritual shackles that bind Eid to Versa, he'll come back.
Its mind is growing more and more fractured. You need to bring him back now! Anything happen to you or our world. Our journey can't end here. Hot water! We're gonna kick some dragon tail and go on sailing to the end of the sky! It sooner! No use running anymore! I am who I am! An evil dragon. Child 
to darkness and flames. My name is. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. You've suppressed Versus Core and driven it back to its home dimension. Everyone safe now? Thanks for everything. <laughs> you can buy me some apples on the way back. Huh? We're still not done. this to me. Wait, where do you think you're going? Forgive me. <laughs> Kids these days, you two are totally <laughs> us. Place far away? Hey, this ain't the time for jokes. He and Bahamut are trapped on another plane. Think of it as a sliver between dimensions. Still, considering his transceiver seems to be working. For now, sadly, I think my time's almost up. The line's going to get cut earlier than I'd hoped. Thought I'd still be able to open a gate from here. 
Guess not. I hope there's anything we can do. Sure, just stay calm. No need to worry about little old me. I'm Mr. Fixit, remember? There's no jam I can't get myself out of, you know. I'll make it. into Roland when we first arrived in the Zega Grande Skydom. I have to atone. Huh? <laughs> For Mother's crimes. And mine. Come on, no need to beat yourself up, kid. That's right. We couldn't have resolved this without you. said it was fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of us now, not me. Never forget everything you've done. Never ever. <sighs> and when we find Roland, we'll give him the thanks he deserves. We've met so many people in the Zega Grande Skydom. New friends. New allies. We saw a man torn in two by family and betrayal. We were saved by an immortal who found beauty in our changing world. Through loss and adversity, our resolve brought Lyria and I closer than ever before. 
Yet this story is far from over. A good friend is still out there, waiting for us to come get him. And as for our journey, there's still much to see. To the ends of the skies where the stars reside, someday we will reach Astalusia. gonna do now I think we should start by finding Roland's house if memory serves he was living at the church but why the sudden interest the church got it hey he didn't even answer you guess we still need to work on his people skills well at least we know where he went we should go see what he's thinking what you doing here, Ed? Oh. Looking for a way to save Roland. This place is replete with his memory. We really appreciate it, Ed. You chipping in to rescue Roland. I owe him just as much as you do. More, even. I feel bad intruding on his home without permission, but there might be clues around. Wanna help us search? Hello there. Did I hear you mention Roland? Huh? Oh, yeah. You a friend of his, too? So my ears didn't deceive me. We've met before, remember? At the docks of Tempeel. Oh, you're the guy that told us about Hallowed Ground! The very same. But, um, back to Roland. Would you happen to know where he is? I can't seem to get in touch. Oh, he's... he's... um... He's somewhere far away. Yeah, really far. It'll probably take him a while to get back. That's fine. I just wanted to be sure he was safe. Knowing Roland? He'll probably wander in through that door when we need him most. Though, to be honest, I hope that's sooner rather than later. Why is that? Something wrong? Well, as you may know, in addition to being a vicar, Roland was the local Mr. Fixit. And I'm not just talking repairs. Monster hunting, herb picking, he was a real lifesaver. But now that Roland's gone, there's tons of work that's going unfinished. I'll do it. Huh? I'll take up his mantle. Ah, this is so painful to watch. Will somebody please teach this kid to speak like a normal person? I think Id meant to say he just wants to be helpful now that Roland's gone. Right, Id? Right. Oh! Well, that's very kind of you, but, um, how do I put this? We were comfortable asking Roland for favors because we trusted him. While you certainly look like an upstanding young man, you're still a stranger. No offense. But I... We'll help out too. Great idea! Hey, mister, we aren't strangers. What have we tagged along? Well, all right, if you insist. I have to say, though, you've done so much for our city. I feel guilty piling more work on you. You sure about this, Captain? Yeah. It's what Roland would want. Um, thanks. Well, now that everything's settled, I'll forward all our jobs to the Crew Alliance Reform. Whenever you feel like taking something on, 
head over to the quest counter. Thank you, again, and best of luck. Hey, it's everyone's favorite crew! Perfect timing, as usual. Truth is, I just put out an urgent cry for help. We got a caravan strong-armed by goblins in Skyworm Valley. I'm looking for folks to beat off the half-beasts and retrieve the stolen goods. Might be a tough battle, but think you can head out now? Yeah. Knew I could count on you? Take care of yourselves, you hear? Today's it's Big Fixer Upper debut. Let's all do our best to help him. Find the goblins, recover the supplies. Sounds simple enough. It will be. Combat's your forte, isn't it? And there's our gobbers. I'll make this quick. Only affection. On it, right away. That wasn't just luck. Why oh, us? I agree. I owe you much. Any less? Break it, man. Hit them now! I'll do it. You will done. prevail. Great work, everyone. And here I can yeah, go that all day long. Here comes the backup brigade. <laughs> we'll manage. Keep picking Never them up. Enough. Dang oh. it! I'm glad you're on our side now. They didn't see that coming. We'll That's never that. back down. Let's grab True the enough. stuff and get out of here. This should be it. Let's move on. Something's watching us. Stay sharp. More goblins. But they shouldn't be much of a threat. I don't know. Kind of weird they're attacking with such a small band. Agreed. Well, I don't sense reinforcements. <laughs> It's called Skyward Valley for a reason. Fight yourselves, everyone. Sure explains why there aren't any goblins. No, local goblins should know how to defend themselves against wyverns. There must be more at play. Take them down. Sure. Don't overdo it. We've still got a ways to go. Okay, that well said. care of the flying lizard, but no sight of the stuff we came for. We'll just have to keep looking. Let's go. Hmm. <sighs> Do you guys ever wonder how Roland was handling okay. all these quests by himself? He certainly has a knack for them, doesn't he? Yoink. He really can leave it to Mr. Fixit. Hmm. Hey, did you guys see that? Something big just flew by. Not part of the brief, not part of our problem. More of them. Here they come. Uh, something's wrong. They're all running, but not from us. Doesn't matter. Came here for one thing. I see through you. Thanks. Come and get Understood. You're not getting away. It's, I think you broke them. Call it Another just. Another chance. What gives? I don't know, but it looks like our hunch was right. It, it's over. Supplies. That's two of three accounted for, so now we should have just one more. Didn't know you were such a poet. That wasn't half bad. Oh, Catalina, you sounded just like Sierra. <laughs> Wait, no, I... My sense of humor is far less unreliant. I really don't get it. All right, enough messing around. There's the last supply pack. We have to take out these goblins first. What do you think? No falling under my Following. Bury them. What was that? This explains why the goblins were fleeing. No one wants to be Griffin, Lund. It wasn't a request. We can't have it stirring up any more monsters. In which case, you better take it down. Hey, now you're starting to sound like a real Mr. Fixit. Let's do this. Finish! 
Mission, I mean, quest complete. Now to bring the items back to the client. Yeesh, you're all business, huh? <laughs> Go easy on him. He's still new to all this. Hey, I heard about the job. Thanks a million. You should be thanking it. Yep, we couldn't have done it without him. The citizens of Tempeel would be honored if you kept serving our city. And I'm sorry that I ever doubted you. Well, I'd be sorry. Uh... Um, I think Id meant to say that you don't need to apologize. That he's happy to help. Right, Id? Uh, yeah. Yuria? When did you learn to speak Id? Doesn't he remind you of a certain someone? <laughs> right? I've heard rocks to talk more than these two. Wait, really? Uh, yeah. You mostly just go mm-hmm and uh-uh and stuff until you need to make a decision. Exactly. You might not talk the talk, but you certainly walk the walk. I know this city will be safe in your hands. They never would have trusted me without your help. So thank you. No worries. Let's make Roland proud. We owe that guy our lives. The least we could do is help him with the housekeeping. Yep. Not to mention we even found his journal. Talk about a clinky dink. It truly is a priceless keepsake. His memories are etched across these pages. He must have been super busy putting out fires to drop this and not even notice. <laughs> I don't know. Our boy Roland sounds exactly like the type to have his head in the clouds. You know, if we keep running errands, maybe we'll find more of his belongings. The point. Retracing his footsteps, we could discover a way to rescue him. Speaking of his footsteps, Id, if I may, there's one point I would like to emphasize. What? Skill wasn't the only reason Roland was so beloved. There was also the way he carried himself. How gentle he was. That's for sure. I'd ask Roland for directions in a heartbeat. On the other hand... You always look like you just sniffed a garbage can. So what should I do? Hmm, you could try smiling more. Okay. Uh. That's how someone would smile, if they were sitting on hot coal. Now your turn. Hmm. 
Just leave it to Mr. Fixit. Wow, uh, wow. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> 